Alrighty, folks, next thing we're going to do, and yeah, going to continue on with Call Wars Gunslayer. And... We are back at where the Greer Wolf took place. I think we're at the final stage of this game. This is a final chapter. After my showdown with Jesse, I continued to track his brother, Frank, in that some bitch gym. I followed those bastards into the high mountains as they were going to ground. What Actually, mountains that. would that be? Somewhere in the Ozarks, I believe. The perfect place to hide out from the authorities. Okay, so we're somewhere, which is funny because Frank is actually in Virginia at this point. In fact, before I could find them, some Indians who fled the reds and were hiding out from the military found me first. They probably thought I was a cavalry scout and didn't want me telling the military where they were. Engines? Yeah, they, they could have been uh, Cheyenne, but there was all sorts of renegades roaming the landscape back then. Yeah, bullshit, Silas. Another whiskey, Ben. Nothing better to soothe the troubled soul. Yeah, this definitely looks like a trap. Now, where was I? Indians, right. I had more than my share of run ins with the Red Man. I got time. <laughs> did I tell you about Grey Wolf? Yes, sir. You did. Ah, of course I did. In fact, I can still remember that old medicine man's words to me. Jesus Christ, we're back to that again. You carry great darkness in your heart. It will claim your soul. You will come to this place again and kill many more men, and the darkness will grow. Until it consumes everything you are. Yeah. So, did you ever find me? the man you are after? Let me ask you something, Ben. You ever think about death? Mr. Graves, oh are you all right? He's oh, not all right. Death. Oh, 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 Won't you spare me over to another year? What is this that I can't see with ice cold hands taking hold of me? Well, I am death, none can excel. I'll no. open the it's door us, to heaven or hell. Oh, someone would pray Could you wait to call me another day Oh, oh, oh dear Won't you spare me over to another year? So are you going to answer the question? What question is that? 
indeed that sound bitch's surname. That's right, Ben. Oh, shit. A despicable character. I remember him laughing like a hyena that cold morning they lynched me and my brother. He was intent on avoiding my vengeance, but nothing was going to stop me. Nothing. I finally did track those outlaws down. They had long rifles with scopes and were well positioned to pick off any poor soul who came anywhere close. James believed I was responsible for the demise of his brother Jesse. I couldn't really disagree with the man as I thought Jesse was dead then as well. Looking for a better angle on me. Yeah, this is going nowhere fast. Bill. I can't fault Frank for wanting his revenge as I was there for the same damn reason myself. At this point, I'm guessing you think Silas Graves is a worse murderer than Jim Reed ever was. No, sir. A man who spent half his life killing somebody's brothers, fathers, sons. I think you were just looking for justice, sir. Is that what I was looking for, Dwight? Is that what it was? Justice? Yeah, no. Isn't that why you were hunting the James guy? The James guy. Right. I finally found Frank holed up in his mountain cabin, and he was determined to have me dead. Okay, that's interesting. Clearly, he's also bulletproof. It was a pitched battle that could have gone either way. Luckily, I had some dynamite in my position. Dynamite? On your person. A few sticks, just in case. It's always good to be prepared. Right. I'm just laying out the facts as I remember them, Jack. And that son of a bitch! Come here! Oh, he's down! Put him down! I want that bastard down! Oh, come on, he's only one man. 
tumbling right off that cliff. With Frank James still in it? Yes, sir. But Frank James is still alive, living in Missouri, showing folks around the family farm for 25 cents a tour. I yep. didn't say he died in the fall, now did I? I call bullshit. I'm done with this damnable outlaw life! Kill me, don't kill me, do what you will! At this point, I just don't give a shit! I explained to Frank that I had nothing against him personally and that I was looking for someone else. You are Reed? Have at him! I never did like that bastard! I am done here! We parted in peace as Frank pointed out the path to my prey before making his way back down the hill. Okay, call bullshit there. escape my revenge again. So what happened with Reed? Well, I finally found the last of the gang hiding in a nearby cave. First, I had to dispatch the lookouts. But rather than wander in willy-nilly, I decided it would be better to smoke that some bitch out. Hey, Reed! I shouted. No wonder you're so ornery. Can't be easy being married to Belle Star. While you're off providing for the family, she's spreading her legs for every Tom, Dick, and Cole younger. Ooh. Not an attractive woman exactly, but very friendly. At least she was to me. Son of a bitch! This is the same cave as before. It was then that the last bunch of bandits jumped out of hiding. Why won't this asshole give up? Would someone please kill him? Something with a little more magazine. Why won't this asshole give Just me and Reed. Yeah. I had waited a long time to face him down so I could repay him for what he did to my brothers. Okay, 
Okay, how the hell did you still not draw me that badly that it's giving us to fail? See you in the next video, folks. Definitely until then.